All right, guys, uh, I'm in my backyard. I'm going to have yet another installment to my Glock series because there was some more comments on different variables. Um, someone was mentioning the fact that I was indoors, the uh, all the light was, you know, basically lighting up the room. A lot of the uh, flashlight light was uh, bouncing back, um, you know, towards the gun and me and everything else was reflecting. Uh, as well as someone was mentioning, you know, how the moonlight, uh, you know, naturally outside for the most part, you're going to have moonlight uh, in the dark. That's going to light up your uh, your sights great. So I'm out here, I'm testing it. Um, if I go up into the trees, you see the moon is out. It's almost a full moon. Okay. Um, I can see fine out here. I mean, like I said, there's at least, it's like four-fifths of a moon tonight. So... You know, it's, it's almost a, a full moon. Uh, also, I'm going to be shooting uh, this flashlight. I'm actually going to use the TK-20. It's even more light. Uh, I'm going to be shooting the uh, side of my hill here in the backyard. I set the camera up on the tripod. Um, I would say it's probably... Uh, a good estimate is maybe 30 feet into the hill. Okay, so I can give you a demonstration here with no light reflecting back. Again, same deal. Glock 17 sporting uh, fiber optic sights and the Glock 36 sporting some night sights. So first, with the full moon, and there's my neighbor honking their horn. Um, all right, here, with the full moon, let's take a look at the night sights first. All right, no additional light, just the moonlight. Here are the night sights. You get them in camera there. In person, nice and bright, no problems. On screen here, might be a little bit hard to see, but you can probably make out those three dots. Okay, again, no problem at all with the moonlight. They're still glowing nice and bright. All right, now let's try the fiber optic sights. Right now, it's in front of the camera. You see, you see absolutely nothing. And let me uh, use the flashlight here just to give you, just to show you that they are in fact in front of the camera here. All right, and then I'm gonna shut the light off. And nothing. In person, I don't see any color at all. So I have no visible sights right now, even with, you know, almost a full moon. All right, now let's keep the uh, fiber optic sights here. Let's put some light on the hill out there. A little little noise in the backyard. Let's see. I go to investigate. With the flashlight next to the Glock, I got nothing. Okay. I mean, I'm looking out in the hill. If I can try to get a better angle here. Um, if it's aside the light or underneath it, I get nothing. Same deal, just a silhouette of those sights. If I get behind the light, Someone had uh, suggested one grip, which is almost like you're putting your um, uh, your fist, the back of your fist, by your face. So you can see in front of you, but you still illuminate your sights fine. And in this case, as you can see, it does work. It's a little bit of an awkward stance, or an awkward uh, grip here with the flashlight. But um, for the most part, it does work. I can illuminate whatever I want to, move around, and still see those sights. So I guess that's one option. Uh, same thing on the other side of the face here. So... Anyway, you can obviously you can see those sights fine here. So that is one option. Let me show you the night sights with the flashlight. Okay, flashlight on. Alongside of the, the gun. Um, if it's next to the gun or below the gun, I can still see the night sights clearly. Which seemed like a really good option. I can illuminate the yard. Well, my hand's in the way here, but... I can illuminate the yard as needed. But I can still see the night sights... In person, fine. It might be a little bit hard to see as far as this demonstration is concerned, but this is a pretty good option. I could see those bright, you know, three three green uh, dots and still have uh, the whole yard illuminated. And then, of course, if I come back here, same deal with the, uh, you know, being white and not really green. But either way, you can still see the sights fine. So that's it. Another installment here. With the, of course, the flashlight in the yard with no light reflecting back. And also trying out with the, uh, the moonlight here. Um, I'm trying to think of what other comments I had. People were talking about, you know, for as far as, uh, you know, again, debate back and forth whether you should use a flashlight or not in the house for home defense. Obviously, someone mentioned, you know, you don't want to accidentally shoot one of your family members. Of course, you want to, you know, throw some, some light on them to see who, who's there. You know, here's how I look at it, and I think I wrote this in a comment, but I'll, I'll mention it anyway. If you hear a noise in the middle of the night, and you go investigating with your gun, 
whether you have a flashlight or not, obviously do not shoot anyone unless you are 100% positive it's someone who does not belong in the house. I would make a noise first. If, the, Like I said, if, if, there's, if there's just a body and you can't tell if it's a family member or not, and they start running, whether it's a towards you or away from you, there's probably a good chance that it's not a family member. Um... You know, but still, there's there's hundreds of people who die every year because, you know, maybe a wife gets up in the middle of the night to uh, get a drink of water or go to the bathroom. The husband hears a noise, grabs his gun, goes to investigate, sees a body, well, you know, and of course you're half asleep, your eyes are fuzzy. You know, there's definitely been documented cases where your husbands have shot their wives and vice versa just because they wanted a little midnight snack or something. So it's obviously a very serious situation. Uh, the, the best advice I can give, again, is be 100% sure that that person does not belong in your house and it is in fact a threat. At that point, pull the trigger, do your best job to, you know, to cancel out that threat. But, you know, please, you know, it's a serious thing. And I just, you know, I just wanted to comment on that, but um you know, like I said, I mean, I still prefer no flashlight again various reasons, but I wouldn't just go shooting, you know, shadows in my house. That's definitely not the case. But anyway, there you go. There's another <laughs> another addition to the um, knife sights versus, um, you know, fiber optic sights debate. Uh, I assume I have everything covered now, so I don't know if I'm going to have another video or not, but hey, who knows, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.